Okay, back. It's been a long time doing another not review. I got this in a big box of stuff that I got from just waiting for me for a while. This one's really interesting for me to try because it's a non tobacco but nicotine snuff. And and also when I was trying to open it I couldn't couldn't get it open, so I was trying to get a knife and that functioned in a whole different way. So Looks like we gotta get this one in the same bucket. So uh, this is like a new, I guess a new brand that Mr. Snuff is selling. That's a crack. And then this one says this tobacco product can damage your health and is addictive. This one, this product contains nicotine, which is highly addictive. And this stuff is made by Six Auto. So I also, I also got, I also got these. Um, this one from Alakia, Alakia, non-tobacco energy snuff. So I'm wondering what is in this because it doesn't say it doesn't have the wording of nicotine. These ones I actually like. Let's get into this one. It looks completely different than like regular. Like here is what the coke snuff looks like. Yeah, it's similar to it. So this one has very, a lot more variety. It's a, it's a the grains that you have there. Maybe something normal, more normal. Yeah, so here's the crystals. Yeah, kind of uniform color. more light and fluffy than regular snow. And then at the same time, it's like grainy. There seems to be a lot of moisture. Also, this container was it filled up up to the top as I usually like it. So, oh wait, I didn't. This one's called Reaper. Did I say that already? Got a very berry smell. It's like the artificial berry. Let's try and get some of this up in the nose. See, see if we get actually the nicotine in this. You almost don't feel it. Oh, there we go. Then. Turn around. The berries go away. Mm, wow. <laughs> the berries kind of go away. It's kind of like a some kind of a medicine snow. I'm getting like these are lumps in this. Ah, very, sh very different. <coughs> Definitely some burn there. It's giving way to like that Indian enough snow. Very. Oh, a distant amount of burn, but I'm not sure if that burn is nicotine coming through or mm. yeah. pencil looks all gone now. So the burn is because it's still there. And almost no, it gives a little bit of back dip. I think in the front, a really strong, lots of burn. It's not mental. Mm. 
thing is I put my fingers on my nose to the side, I can feel it pulsating. So I'm tempted to take more, but at the same time, same time, so dirty. Oh. At the same time, I don't know how strong this is going to be, and I don't want it to put me out of commission to it. Let me pause for a second. I'm back. Okay, so I'm in a few minutes. Then blow my nose once. And kind of the smell came back and went. Very fruity. And but the burn is really I don't know, it's almost like putting Maybe there's a little bit of chili powder or something. I wouldn't say that's giving me. It's hard to tell if it is a nicotine that's making me kind of. I got kind of like a head rush, but I'm not sure if it's a nicotine that's doing it or it's just that burn because it's really a strong burn. Um, I can't. I think this is something. That I would use uh, if I was drinking. Thinking about that. Thinking about doing it together. I want to get a nice clean flavor, and this is kind of a, a, it's like a fruity. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of um, something of partial. It's a, it's just a kind of artificial sweet. It's because it was a very easy sniff, it didn't get me in the back of the throat or anything, but at the same time, it burns. No, 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 I'm gonna have to sit with this one. Hopefully, good. And the warning isn't like a normal government warning. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even have a weight on it. It's weird. This is all sold out on Mr. Snuff, by the way. Um, you know, the burn is too distracting for it to be enjoyable. I mean, and, and I'm talking to somebody who, like, I like spicy food. I like spicy food, but this, I, I just don't. Like, really, I feel like this hot pepper in there. Because if you've ever eaten something spicy and then you accidentally touch your nose or your eyes, you breathe out. Like, it's not, it's not a burn that you usually get from... That I would usually get from snuff. It's very strange. It's hard for me to explain it. No, it's not so hard. I just did it. But, but yeah, when you breathe out... Yeah, it's blocking me up, too. And, yeah, this is not, I think it was also pretty expensive, I feel like, um, yeah, this is like 12, 12 bucks for this. Uh, I think I would, I would really, like, I would like to find something that's, uh, yeah, okay, there it is. I got kind of blacked up with that. Yeah, there's definitely something, something peppery in here. Just making it. So yeah, I, I was looking for something that I would like to try something which hit a nicotine hit. That's not. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the nicotine now. I feel like kind of that. Uh, I get kind of like that cold, sweaty feeling in my hand. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's hard for me to say what I. This is for sure isn't wouldn't uh, replace normal stuff for me. Yeah, they pepper and pepper and raspberries, kind of like red, but like raspberry bubble gum or something like that. 
So if you like sweet snuff, like um, like partial, uh, what is it? I have some here, uh, like this stuff, uh, silver. They're supposed to be their cola. This is very similar to that, with the burn, like the serious burn to it, and. I probably wouldn't buy this again. I have a feeling that this is going to last me a while. And it was pretty expensive. So, if I wanted something... I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try one of their other flavors and see if it, if it does it. Okay, so if you've tried this, let me know what you think. Um, and I've got a lot of new stuff to review. Um, and that's it.